tumbling to his knees at Sirtis pulled the blade free in a spray of blood. Alexander's vision blurred through the pain. Alexander focused on the thin trickle of molten orange blood seeping out of the cut, tinseled into Sirtis. Sirtis followed Alexander's gaze and looked down. He dabbed lightly at the bleeding wound. In his grave voice, Sirtis intoned, You are the first to injure me in decades. Be proud as you are going to your death. He heaved the sword above his head. Give my regards to the Aesir. Their rule over the realm has ended. Ragnarok begins. Reverently, he thought he brought his sword down for the killing blow. Alexander, broken and bleeding, moved on the reflex, brought up his axe in an overhead block, but it wasn't enough. Knowing that his time had finally come, Alexander hoped he had made his ancestors proud and that his family would be ready for what was to come. The Bezer berserker mantle that he had held for so long would finally pass on. A flutter of wing and a caw from the onlooking raven were the only sounds of the silent forest as Alexander slumped back dead. Surtur took a long moment to stare down at his fallen foe before turning and disappearing through the bridge.